Hi, I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I'm here to review the 2013 movie Chupacabra vs. the Alamo. It stars some guy named Eric Estrada. I'm not too familiar with him. Basically, it's about the Chupacabra. The title gives it away. It's basically a blood-sucking dog. I want to clear that up again. Originally, the Chupacabra was described as some kind of alien lizard hybrid. But in 2000, it suddenly became a dog. I don't know how that happened. Originally, it was a lizard. A cross between a lizard and some kind of alien or something. But anyway... The movie opens up with these, these guys involved in drug cartel, and you hear this sort of growl. And, of course, you know it's the Chupacabra, you know, because of the title and all that. He drags the guy into the tunnel, and he starts eating him, and then they don't show anymore. And when the cop, Eric Estrada, comes by, he's like, who did this to you? And then the guy says, El Diablo did it, or Diablo or something like that, meaning the devil. And the Chupacabra scratches him all over his face and whatnot. Then we fast forward and, you know, it shows the cop on his job. And he gets this new partner named Taylor. And he's basically being mean to her. Treating her like a slave. He's like, get my water. I think this movie takes place in Mexico. Somewhere between Texas and Mexico. Anyway, as I was saying, he's being mean to her. He's like, get me some water, you know. And she's like, that's not what I'm here for. And she ends up getting it anyway. Now, originally, he thinks it's a coyote. And I'm guessing that this movie is based on the 2007 Chupacabra attack. Like, I remember it attacked um, the farm of some lady named Phyllis Canyon. And it was like sucking the blood out of her chickens. That's supposedly a true story, by the way. You have these kids at a party. They're celebrating Cinco de Mayo. You have random girls walking through the woods, and the chupacabra attacks them. Here's the problem I had with the movie. I said this same thing in Chupacabra Terror. When you hear me review that, you'll hear me say the same thing. The chupacabra does not attack people. I have a serious issue with that. Again, the Chupacabra does not attack people. It attacks livestock, chickens, goats, turkeys. It originally attacked goats, not people. There was only one case where this Latina claimed that it attacked her. But then again, these are the same people that claim the Chupacabra was some kind of supernatural monster. It's a dog, allegedly. Long story short, you've got a town that's overrun with Chupacabra, and it's basically like Resident Evil. And they said that the Chupacabra made their way to the United States. And that they're rabid. They have rabies and they're looking for food. Now they claim that the Chupacabra is a bloodsucker. If this is the case, why was there blood all over the victims? If you want to stay true to the myth, Allegedly, in 2007, 
When the chupacabra invaded the farm of Phyllis Canyon, the chickens were dry. There was no blood in it. That's the way the myth goes. No blood. If it sucked blood, then why was there blood on the victims? Think about it. Anyways, they're having a party. The chupacabra basically invades the party and, you know, eats a bunch of kids. Then, it hits close to home. Because the daughter of the cop that's played by Eric Estrada, her best friend is attacked by a chupacabra, and the chupacabra kills the daughter's best friend, and tries to kill the daughter. This is when the cop decides, I've had enough, I can't take it anymore, I will no longer let Chupacabra take over my town. He goes to his troubled son named Tommy. Tommy gets all his homies together, they band together, and they wage war on the Chupacabra. This is the thing that really tripped me out when I when I saw this. The Chupacabra jumped up and opened the door with his mouth. This is ridiculous. But like I was saying, the guy wages war on Chupacabra and a couple of Tommy's friends die. I mean, that's inevitable. They basically decide to blow up the town. Or the Alamo, whatever that is. Ridding them of Chupacabra. And by the way, this movie was inaccurate. Chupacabra was first seen in Puerto Rico, not Mexico, in the town of Canovanis, or Canavanis, as some people would say. But, yeah, they basically blow up the Chupacabra, and then the cop gets with that girl that he was so mean to at the beginning, um, Sergeant Taylor, or whatever she was. The movie was very cheesy. You could clearly see that the Chupacabra were CGI, but I'll probably buy the movie because I'm a fan of the Chupacabra. I'm getting Chupacabra t-shirts and probably some documentaries as, as well as a Chupacabra toy. I love the Legend of Chupacabra, whether it's the Puerto Rican version, which is a reptilian lizard type thing or the American version which is basically a doll. Either way I love the Chupacabra. So yeah um check out the movie Chupacabra vs. the Alamo starring Eric Estrada. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. A shout out to the group called Fans of sci-fi original movies shout out to them I'll put their link in the description box ladies and gentlemen Chupacabra vs. the Alamo starring Eric Estrada thank you very much